Hey guys, welcome back to the Kingdom Room. I'm so hyped that you're here. I'm so glad that we're alive, <laughs> that we're still breathing. I'm so grateful that we have another opportunity to meet and I get to share with you what I've been going through throughout my week. Um, yes, I'm currently on the road, which is life. Um, but I want to share with you something that has been on my heart and that's been on my mind um these past few days i've been praying and my situation and my struggle is more so around being more like a child when it comes to my relationship with god um i think it's a common thing that you know sometimes we come to god like god i'm 30 whatever years old or i'm whatever age and i have all this going on and i know this and i know that and what I've learned in my relationship with God is that he wants me to remain in the constant um, mindset of not knowing when it comes to him. Um, I don't have to walk around the world as if, um, you know, I'm ignorant and I don't know anything as by the grace of God, we're all educated. We go to school, we have education, we haven't had an opportunity to grow in different aspects and different um, areas of our lives. But that doesn't mean that um, just because we have degrees, just because we have understanding or opportunities, or we've reached certain levels within our lives, that does not mean that we should not come to God with a sense of not knowing. It's okay to not know. It's okay to come to God and say, teach me, teach me um, and help me to learn things or help me to unlearn things that I have uh, that I have within me that I need to get rid of. Um, and I think that's why I, I think about the things that God hates. And one of the biggest things that God hates is he doesn't like he doesn't like people who are proud. He hates just the concept of being proud and he doesn't like when we come to him as if we already know or we don't even allow him to teach. Um, and so simple, simply enough, um, the verse that God uh, gave to me was um, in Matthew, and I'll put the verse up. Um, but it was saying, it was a story where Jesus was saying, suffer the little children to come unto me and forget and forbid them not for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And he blessed those children right after that. That scripture came to my heart and helped me to realize that I need to stay. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Those who are like children, those who put themselves in the in the mindset of they're like a child. So when God talks to you, does he say, my baby girl, my my baby boy? That's how God addresses us. He sees you as this this so delicate thing, this delicate being. Um, and he sees how fragile you are and he sees how um, how weak you actually are because a lot of us think we're strong and actually we're actually weak. And then we're not weak in the sense where we can't survive and we can't go through different moments within our lives. But um, when it comes to the future, you don't know. You're not empowered in, in the future because you don't know what, what the future holds for you. You don't know what's coming. You don't know what your purpose is in every single moment of your life. Things change, surroundings change, environments change, people change. And in order for you to stay stable, you need to be with the st only stable thing that's in the universe. And that is the King of Kings. God is the only constant. And so to give yourself peace and to give yourself hope within life, it's important for us to remain in the not knowing and be okay with that. Be okay with not knowing. Be okay with needing your heavenly father to hold your hand while you cross the street. That's literally the example that came into my mind was that I need to remain in the place where I know that as in every moment and every door and every opportunity and everything that I have within my mind, I need to be in the knowing that this is my father and he's holding my hand and I will not move unless he goes with me and he has to provide for me. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope that blesses you and um, just wanted to remind you, um, we will continue to have our free resources available. We have a weekly devotional that's out so check that out 
um, on our website, kingdomrose.org. And we have a new podcast that is going to be released. Uh, my friends and I will be discussing Love is Blind, which is a hilarious new Netflix spinoff show, whatever you want to call it. But we thought it was hilarious. And I'm sure you want to hear our thoughts on it. So listen to our latest podcast. We also have um, outreaches coming up. Our Easter outreach is coming. So please email us and also we'll be on our social platform sharing how you can support us um, as we want to help women within the month of March this is Women's History Month and we also next month would like to help different people in the community um, as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So with that said if you have any questions comments shoot them our way and I hope you have a blessed week. Bye guys! <music>